So, as everyone knows, um, or all of those who don't know, the tournament was delayed um, about an hour, and uh, we had some controversy going on with uh, Clutch Boak playing in the tournament. And a few weeks ago, he made some comments and did some things that uh, was, was a mistake. You know, everyone makes mistakes. And uh, he kind of became blacklisted in a sense of people didn't want them in his tournament because of what he said. Um, and he apologized for it. He made, you know, all the peace with it. And um, like I said, I, I spoke very highly of, of Chandler. I've known him for years. And um, he's not a, a sexist person. He has nothing against, you know, women or female streamers. Um, and it was a whole ordeal that had uh, happened a couple weeks ago. Um, he's competed, you know, in other tournaments after that. And um, they didn't want him to compete in this tournament. And it was unfortunate um, because, you know, for myself and for my team, Trenchmade Gaming, you know, we stand on our core values. Um, I built this whole thing up with, you know, standing on loyalty, um, being able to grind to where you want to be in life um, and, you know, not taking any shortcuts and obviously owning up to everything that you ever do, all your mistakes that you made in life, because um, we all have made them. And um, when they said that he couldn't play in the tournament, it really didn't, you know, set me in the best of mood. So I had about a three-hour conversation throughout the day with, you know, everybody that was involved from EFUSE to Activision um, to Subnation and my own gaming org. Um, I'll get that. And so um, obviously with me and Chandler having a really close relationship, you know, outside of gaming, like I said, he's been to my house, you know, come to football games. All, all of the above. Um, so me and him having a, a really close relationship, you know, I wasn't too fond of them saying that he couldn't play in a tournament because of a mistake that he's made and that he's already paid for. Um, and so, you know, I just wanted him to obviously have an opportunity to go in and kind of explain himself, um, have an opportunity to essentially show what he's learned because um, I don't want to be a part of this, this cancel culture um, especially when it's my tournament and it's a friend of mine that's I'm super close with. Um, and so I don't want this to be like, yeah, let's cancel clutch book. He can't play any more tournaments because at the end of the day, this is how he makes his money. This is how he, you know, feeds his family. This is how he pays his rent. This is how he pays for his car, whatever that he wants to do. This is how he does it. Um, obviously he has a great community that supports him, but that's not going to, you know, pay all his bills. So he has to compete in tournaments. And if he can't compete in tournaments, then he can't survive. Um, and so I don't like that he was essentially, quote unquote, blacklisted without giving him an opportunity to go out and, you know, explain himself, you know, and, and show his growth. And I think this is a huge thing for the gaming community because everybody, you know, gets on this, this trend that we're in to cancel anybody that does something wrong. And in reality, all of us have always done something wrong. His just got caught on camera. And he should be punished for it, which he was. He should, you know, take his consequences and it should be a learning experience, not a shut him down. He can't do anything else. He can't compete. He can't do anything. And that's just not right. I will never be okay with that, especially when it comes to something like gaming, which is a very toxic community. I'm all about equality. I think everyone should be treated equally, especially women in this, in this space, um, which is why I got women in this tournament. Obviously, this is my tournament. Originally, it was supposed to be two streamers and two athletes. Um, and I decided to make the change to say, instead of two athletes, we'll do a female streamer because I wanted everybody to have a chance to go in and compete. Um, so like I said, I'm all about equality. TMG is all about equality. We don't want to burn any bridges between you know, Activision, EFUSE, or, or anything of that nature. But I also have to stand on what I believe in. And I don't believe that everyone should be canceled because of a mistake that they've made, because we're all human and we don't get to be the judge and the jury because of someone else's mistakes. And so, you know, me and Buck are going to, you know, talk this up. Um, I'm going to let him kind of explain himself. You were speaking, himself. I mean, that, that right there, bro, you, that's true friend shit. Like, that, you're speaking facts. I, like I said, <clears throat> after the incident happened, like, I made a mistake. My, my, my competitiveness got the best of me. Like, I, I talked a lot of shit. In no regard am I the sexist person that 
it, what it seemed like the entire community was putting me out to be that that's not me i'm just a very very competitive person and the ones that watch my stream know that the people that don't watch my stream it showed throughout the community they, they, they don't realize that i am just a very very competitive person i'm not looking at male or female like we're all in the same tournament we're playing for tens and thousands of dollars almost on a daily basis and if we're all in the same field there's no oh i'm saying this because she's a female no it's none of that like i'm just a very very competitive person and i want you guys to, like this 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 situation has honestly changed me and i want i want to be a better person i don't want to talk as much shit i mean yeah i enjoy talking shit i have have, have grew up talking shit i've been playing sports since i was 5 years old this is what i've always done and i felt like me like me talking shit is what makes me me play better this is what's happened in football any sport that i've played i've always talked shit and it's made me get to a point where i feel like i'm playing better like i'm getting in people's heads it's never been i'm talking shit because it, it, it's a woman it's not that i'm just a very competitive person and i live a very competitive lifestyle i really like to win that that's just what that's what gets me going winning is what gets keeps me going so everything about the cancel culture stuff i don't think is right me being blacklisted from tournaments where this is this is my job and and for the, the for people to try to blacklist me to getting to not be into tournaments is 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 not right i'm and quez sees that it's not right but i just i just I, I just think that i should be given a second chance from where i have learned from my mistakes and i've i've, I've dealt the consequences of what happened and i've grown as a person to where i'm not going to make the same mistakes twice you should i feel like you should always be given a second chance in life if you're not given a second chance and immediately shut down then what is it showing about the people that are trying to shut you down i just don't think that it's right uh, yeah especially you know like i said we 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 all make mistakes man like i, I know i've made countless mistakes in my life um especially in in just anything and related to athletics wise and, and com competitive wise it's in my nature like to go out and trash talk anybody like if y'all heard me on the football field compared to you know my everyday life it wouldn't be the same like I, i'm probably the, 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 the biggest trash talker in the world like you were like man that, that guy's a dick or, or whatever the case is and that's just who we are as athletes so when like i said i know belk in real life this is not just like and, and if it was anybody, if it was D or if it was literally anybody, it would be the same. I would have the same message. It's not because, you know, we're we're friends or whatever. It's, it's the same thing. I don't want to see anybody get canceled for a mistake that they've made. I want it to always be a learning lesson. Like, yes, he made a mistake. Cool. Who hasn't? You know, and I think we learn from it. We grow from it and we teach other people how to be better people from this situation um, because that's that's what it's all about is making this world a better place. If we, if we're all just canceling everybody, how are we going to be better? If we're all just pointing the finger at, you know, whoever did something wrong, we're never going to grow this, this world. We're never going to grow this community as people. Um, and I think that's the, the biggest thing about, you know, being better people and uh, making this world a better place is everybody learning how to teach each other and not just point the finger and kick somebody while they're down, you know, and, 100%. and I think with, with this situation, um, I think this can teach a lot of people about what's going on um, because obviously, you know, we, we want to treat everybody with respect. We want to treat everybody equally, but you also have to understand what goes on when you're playing video games. It's one of the most competitive things that you can ever do. Um, like there's not many things on this planet that are more competitive than a competition for $100,000 or $50,000, you know? So when you're playing for that amount of money, of course you're going to be competitive. Things are going to get heated. Things are going to get taken out of context. And I think that's one thing that we got to learn how to do is stop taking everything out of context without knowing what's going on or knowing who this person is. And I think it's just like people. Think, go ahead, keep going. You're good. No, rock out. Go ahead. It's just like people. Uh, they they see they take something and they run with it without seeing the other side or someone else's point of view. Or, or even letting me explain my story before I'm completely thrashed on the internet where people are only going to believe the one side that they're seeing. They don't wait and see 
my side of the story, which isn't right. And they're trying to, it's like they're trying to make an example out of it, like Quez was saying, where instead of growing, we're, we're trying to make an example out of somebody which isn't going to grow anything. You're just shutting one person down and trying to completely silence that person, which is, it, that's not how you're going to grow as a community. If you want to be a better community, you let that person grow from it. See if they change from it. You don't completely shut them out of everything and take away all their opportunities that they've worked so hard from. Hard to get. So hard to get. I started last year streaming from the very, very bottom. And I built my way up. So for me to not be given a second chance is not right. Watch Chandler play Warzone with me for days, weeks, with two viewers. Like, and that's like my whole thing behind, you know, my, my gaming org, TMG is giving opportunities to people who don't have the correct opportunities or don't get the exposure that they need, who, you know, had their back against the wall, you know, stood 10 toes down and fought their way to where they want to be in life. Because I know for me, that's what I had to do, you know, from growing up in South Side St. Petersburg, Florida, where it was difficult to make it out and to not making my football team to playing in the NFL. So, you know, I, I've seen these type of people and which is why I'm so, you know, like why me and Chandler are so close because I see the same type of passion and work ethic that he has for this, for his passion. And so to see that be ripped from him, it, it's heartbreaking to me. And I, I don't want to be a part of that. Like, and when they said, oh yeah, he can't play in your tournament today, there was no chance that was going to happen. Because for one, that's not who I am as a person. I'm going to stand on what I believe in. I will never not stand on my core values. And for two, I've watched him literally grind with one, two viewers playing nine hours straight with just just playing, just to try to build his name up to him playing for 500, 600,000 people on a regular basis. So I'm not going to be a part of him, of, of his first cancel culture. Um, that's just not that's just not who I am. And that would never sit right with me. And like I said, we and him have had conversations off stream as well about this about just him growing as a person, him toning back on the, the level of toxicness. Obviously, I want him to be himself. I never want to silence who he is as a person, but obviously there's a time and a place for everything and there's maturity throughout everything. So I don't want it to be like, oh, well, you didn't know ahead of time, so now you're done for the rest of your life. Because that's not fair. It's not like he's going out here, has no integrity for the game and he's cheating and this, that, and the third. He said something that was taken out of context and now because his words were taken out of context his whole life is being changed and that's not fair like i can't stand and be a part of that i mean you're i mean everything you're saying is is, is facts like, i mean it's just not it's not right everybody everybody should be, should be given a second chance to redeem themselves and show that they're not changing as a person and in everyone even in this chat room that's listening You've gone through something that's, that, that's changed you as a person. And more than likely, you've probably been giving a second chance, whenever that, whatever that is. We all go through obstacles in our life, and it changes us. It changes us as a person. And if you're getting shut down and not being given that second chance, especially for something that I've, I've worked so hard, I've worked so hard to get to this point, to where I'm at right now. And we're not even at the top of the mountain yet. We're not at the top of the mountain, but I've worked so hard to get where I'm at right now for, for, for people to just try to completely throw me out of the community, throw me out of it and just bash my name and just say, no, just, just send them away. It's not right. And I, I'm not going to stand for it. Wes is being a true friend right now. And he's, he's, he's not going to stand for that. That's not what he stands for. And like I said, it, it goes, it's, it's way bigger than just the friendship. Because like I said, if this was anybody, if this was a random person in my stream. Yeah, or, it doesn't or, matter who it is. It doesn't matter just because or, it's me. Yeah, if it, was, if it was a random person that was playing in the stream and they told me he can't play because he's blacklisted and this is the reason why, I would have the same reaction to it. You know, like I said, it has nothing to do with me and Chandler's personal relationship that I've known him for years and we played together every day for however long. Like it has nothing to do with it. It has everything to do with people should be given second chances at the end of the day. 
period in the end because i know for a fact that everyone that has lived this life has said something that they have regretted but because it wasn't on camera your whole life doesn't get changed for it you said something bad about your boss you said something bad about a friend a, a teammate a family member whatever that shouldn't change your entire life and i, I can't you know if i have a voice i'm going to always use it man and why not use it on these platforms because everyone deserves a second chance and everyone has a voice so you're entitled to your own opinion but let people learn from their mistakes not just put them in prison for the rest of their life you know i'm not saying he went out there and murdered someone or anything in that nature but you know he said something that was taken out of context and he was apologetic about it he you know owned up to his mistakes he put out a 10 minute video addressing everything that was said so we move on from there we learn from it and we continue to grow we don't that, that's not growing as people that's not growing as a community that's not growing as individuals and we're never going to get anywhere if we just let one person make a mistake and we just cut them off and ship them out of here and exile them that's not how life should go i mean that's just not going to make them them learn anything they're just for 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 somebody to do that you're just making them lose out on everything that they've ever worked for. They're not going to learn anything from that at all. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's just, I think we said our piece. In the yeah, situation. So, you know, yeah, we, we move forward from there, you know, hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll put this out on, on the social medias and let, you know, people make their own decisions about what's going on. Um, but, you know, I, I don't think that, he, he should be shut down, you know, from, from competing when he's a very good competitor and past that he's a very good person and we shouldn't cancel people because they make mistakes because I know for a fact everyone in their life has made a mistake. There was one perfect person on this planet. His name was Jesus Christ. And if you're not him, then how can you sit here and judge somebody else? You know, yeah. let, let them, uh, you know, let them learn, let them grow. That's what this whole life is about, you know, we, we continue to grow, you know, he, he's not a, a 70 year old man who's seen, you know, life and he experienced everything. You know, this is his first experience with something like this and we learn from it, but we don't get to just shut everybody down from, you know, one bad you know situation. And we, we continue to, to progress, continue to learn. Um, and I think this is how we, you know, change the, the gaming community. And this is how we, uh, you know, create the, the right environment for everyone to feel safe and comfortable because that's what it's all about. You know, obviously, you know, talk your shit. You know, you're a good player. Do that. Do that. There's definitely a but, time and place. Yeah. Time and place for sure. And I've learned that. I learned that there's a time and place for everything. And so I think that's just how we uh, we continue to move this thing forward, man. It's how we make better people. You know, we make better friendships. We continue to be good people, you know, on and off the field or on and off the console, you know, we, we do it the, the right way. And I think that's the best thing, you know, moving forward, you know, and I think with the, the right people in your corner and the right people supporting you, we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right. Yeah. But that's it, you know, so we'll, we'll get this, uh, get these, these Move two on. clips. And uh, we'll, we'll get it on social medias and, you know, kind of readdress it there as well um, for the people who didn't get to, to see it. But I think this is uh, super important to have this conversation um, because I don't want to see him, you know, blacklisted. I've literally been Chandler's biggest supporter when it comes to this game and stuff, man. Like, literally back when he was playing with, for no viewers. And I'm telling people he's the best in the world at this game. Still to this day, since still day, to this day. Since yeah. day one, the day one of playing with Quez was literally the beginning of Warzone. He, I mean, he's gave he's gave me my first opportunities on Warzone. We played in a, in a in a in a mutineer tournament. He gave me my first opportunity. We won the tournament. I mean, he's he's literally done everything he's he he could in his power to try to make me get the notice that I that that I've been been trying to trying to get that I've been working so hard for. Like, I mean, he's pushing me to be a better person. Yeah, I mean, talk, I talk to Quest all the time, and he's always trying to push me to be a better person.
I mean, I can't say thank you enough to Quez because, I mean, he's just been helping me grow as a person. And I'm I'm starting to grow a lot more as a person and being friends with him. Like I said, it's just, this is what it's supposed to be, bro. Like, should we evolve? I know I've I've made mistakes. I've had ups and downs in my life. But I've had people that push me, and I want to make sure I want to push the the homies as well, man. Any any chance I can to push somebody to be better, that's what's going to happen, man. And I I can't sit here and and watch him, watch all his hard work go down the drain because of a mistake that got taken out of context, man. So, like I said, I'm going to stand by him, man, and we're going to get through it. We're going to keep pushing these things to – to get him to be better, man. And we're going to keep keep this thing rolling. We'll get through it. Yes, sir. We'll be better than before. So, I mean, all good. Yes, yeah, sir. Good.